Hi, this is Gary DeBach of Puyallup, Washington, USA. In this video, we'll demonstrate the Paul Walker Variant 5-inch FSL antenna. The reason why this 5-inch FSL is somewhat different than others is because it has various modifications to make it bulletproof in very nasty environments. Uh, one of which is McGrath, Alaska, with uh, sub-freezing cold and heavy snow. So anyway, uh, before I demonstrate its performance, let me uh, give you a rundown of why this is a different model FSL and why uh, these different mods help it to be extremely rugged in challenging environments. So first of all, if you look at the side here, you will notice that there's a rubber locking tab between the rubber plumbing coupler and the PVC frame. What this does, this locks the ferrite sleeve in place so it doesn't sh slide horizontally and all of the individual ferrite rods are super glued to the rubber plumbing coupler on this side which stops them from sliding in and out. So what you essentially have is one solid piece uh, that's not going to shift around on you and that is designed to survive the nastiest of travel bumps. Maybe even one or two unplanned drop tests. Uh, on the other side here, pretty much uh, the standard FSL components and the 384P variable cap is uh, soldered on extremely securely so that nothing will shift around. The coil cannot shift around. The ferrite sleeve cannot slide in and out. Everything should stay good to go for the whole winter for Paul. So anyway, uh, I'm going to give a brief demonstration here. This 5-inch FSL will give a very powerful boost to fringe stations. And I do have one selected, which is 980CKNW in British Columbia, north of the Canadian border. Right now it's daytime DX conditions, and this station is about 160 miles to the north, uh, roughly 200 kilometers in daytime DX. So I'm going to try it out on the stock CC Skywave. See what I get. I get something about S1, kind of mumbling. I hear a male speaking, but that's about all. I have the Paul Walker FSL pre tuned to 980. Let's see what it can do for the signal. Okay, this is extremely strong now. I think it's about S7, S8. Let me see if I can get it better. I hear the song Money in the background. It did take a little bit of money to make this, but it's all for a good purpose. Just got an ID there. So, if Paul was chasing this station, I think he'd be able to have a nice solid logging. Let me move it away from the FSL. And it would take quite a DXer to dig out an ID right now on the stock loop stick. So thank you very much for watching and best of DX from DX Central here in the Puyallup Valley. Talk to you later. Bye.